I'm going to tell you four uh, ways more specifically in which that was established. The first relates to mitochondrial function. So in the bed rest group, the quantity of the mitochondria diminished, which is what you would expect in the context of bed rest. But when that group were then subjected to uh, the exercise challenges after their period of deconditioning, the mitochondria still responded in a healthy way to the challenge of the exercise. And so basically, even though the mitochondrial pool had lowered its quantities, it was still able to actually respond to the challenge of exercise appropriately. And this uh, is not the case in MECFS, where the mitochondria actually, you know, cannot meet the demand of the physical activity. So at a deep cellular level, there was a difference observed. Another difference came from um, the response of the, uh, of, of the heart rate elevation to the physical exercise challenge. In the MECFS group, the heart rate increase was much than in the people who were deconditioned. And this suggests that there's something about, you know, what's going on systemically in MECFS that makes the cardiovascular system respond in a more pronounced way in the effort to take physical activity, or shall we say perhaps in a way that compensates even more. And this could be to do with low blood volume, you know, oxygen extraction, microclots and all of that kind of thing, placing further strain on the cardiovascular system.